Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rahana. It's time for more Gakko in Heaven 2. We're continuing on June 4th, and if you remember last time, we uh, went to the karaoke booth with Yagami, had a good time. And this is still in town <laughs> after doing that. So um, last time Yagami complimented Yuki on his voice, but told him he needs some training, so he's willing to, to take that on to get some advice and... Uh, potentially harsh training from Yagami to improve the quality of his voice. And I stopped here because some other characters are going to show up now and uh, we'll continue with this scene. Uh, this is important. So pay attention to this um, character who shows up. He's one of the um, extra characters who is only in Yagami's route, just like uh, the other characters who are not part of the main route have tend to have some extra characters in them like Arata had that annoying jerky guy and his fiance and stuff like that so this is one of those uh, character specific people and this this person is uh, part of Yagami's story Dana! so these are just kids bye Matana! see you later and these are elementary school kids Do Oh, there's kids all filing out here. What? What is this? It's a primary school, but today's Sunday, isn't it? Baga. Sono biru no kanban mite miru. Idiot, look at the sign on the building. Kusunoki Academy. Gakushuju ka. So it's a place called Kusunoki Academy. It's a cram school for little kids. That's terrible, isn't it? Ah. <sighs> It must be tough studying even on a day off. All brats nowadays do stuff like that. So yeah, you can imagine the competitive nature of things. You know, everybody wants to send their kids to uh, these special schools where they can, you know, improve their academics in order to get into better high schools and things like that in the future. Oh, Shun. Shun. So here, this is someone's name. Shun. Oh, Yagami. Oh, Yagami. It's a boy in a wheelchair. Is he someone Yagami knows? Nanda, nanda. Nichiyo made o benkyou ka. What the heck? You're even studying on Sunday? Ore lai nen chougaku juken da kara. I have the middle school entrance exam next year. Are there entrance exams for middle school too? Wow. That's rough. I can't be playing around all carefree like you. <laughs> and Yagami, yeah, sorry, I skipped his line there. It's because I try to use the, the mouse wheel instead of clicking so you don't hear me clicking constantly. But here's Yagami's yeah, line. You've got some nerves, so yeah, this kid is sassy. And Yuki's saying, hmm, entrance, entrance exams already. That's pretty awesome. Not really, it's normal. It's my mom. Yeah, alright, I'll be in the usual place. So I guess the implication is that it's kind of unusual for there to be entrance exams for middle school because Yuki seemed kind of impressed by that. Um, I was not aware that there's entrance exams for middle school, so maybe it's only special places or competitive places that have entrance exams, but definitely uh, high schools do. Except BL school, because you get invited. She's coming to pick you up? Yeah. Then I'll be going now. Alright. Will you be okay? I'm fine. It's the place we always wait for each other. See you. Yeah, take care going home. You too, Yagami. Don't get questioned by the police. Idiot, why the heck would you worry about that? <laughs> Well, he left, but I wonder if he's really okay. So, yeah, you kind of get the impression that this kid is pretty sassy. Um, he'll talk back to Yagami. He 
He said he was fine, so he's fine. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Kid, kids seem to like you, Yagami. They don't especially like me. Really? I'm surprised you had to talk like that. What's that supposed to mean? I shouldn't talk to kids? That's not what I meant. You just don't seem to have anything in common with kids. I guess. Your attitude didn't change at all when talking to a kid. Why should my attitude change just because I'm talking to a brat? Yeah, you're as rude and mouthy as usual. Well, excuse me, I'm not all refined. But that means you don't change your attitude no matter who you speak to, right? Yeah. Well, if I were a kid, I think I would end up liking a person who doesn't treat me like a child. Oh, are you embarrassed? Like, Yuki, why you gotta point it out every time someone blushes? Shut up, I don't care if brats like me. Never mind that, I was just a little surprised. So, okay, we don't actually find out much about this kid here. I kind of forgot that. I thought maybe a little bit more about him would be revealed, but um, even though that seems like kind of a random chance encounter, of course nothing in this game is by random chance. And the interesting thing is, like, Going back and playing it from the beginning, so we're working on the scripts and such now to uh, improve them even more. Um, just playing through even very early parts of the game, like the that very first day where you go around the map and you talk to people, I've noticed little hints of stuff in those interactions with the characters that I didn't pay attention to before because I didn't know their stories fully. And um, it really stands out now. So there's really nothing coincidental in this game. If, if they go out of the way to introduce you to someone or to mention something, you can bet it's going to come back later. So, um, you know, unlike real life where things can happen kind of randomly, everything in a game is very specifically added for a reason. And this game is especially good about, you know, not really wasting any words or, or characters or situations. Like everything's in there for a reason. So he's saying I was a little surprised, and if we'd stayed in the school, maybe I wouldn't have noticed. After all, I'm glad you invited me today. You just tagged along on your own. But with the, the karaoke, I got to hear the songs that you like, and you listen to the songs that I like. We just sang the songs we liked. Yeah, we both just did what we liked. But thanks to that, I feel like I've gotten to know you a lot better. Thanks, Yagami. And like, whoa, suddenly he's all up in your face. Why are you suddenly being all formal? But I'm happy. You came with me today. And you praised my singing. And geez, he is like really making a love love face right up in the player's face here. This is especially effective when you're playing on a TV. Well, to be honest, I was a little worried. Worried? Yeah. Well, you became my Bell One partner, but... It didn't really feel like we were working together, did it? Really? Well, our likes and interests are completely different. I 
I guess. But I mean, you should have known that from the start. Well, that wasn't all. Well, I invited you to study for the quiz with me, but you turned me down. So remember, that's the thing that he was um, worried about at the beginning of this day, is that he was kind of doubting that Yagami was studying seriously for the quiz. Well, I never said I wasn't studying. Yeah, I didn't doubt that. Not really. You're being kind of vague. No, no, no. I didn't doubt you. But look, there's a lot to teamwork and stuff like that. I've been thinking about it. Hmm, teamwork. Right, I was honestly worried about it. As partners, I think maybe we have to do more stuff together. So that's why you were begging me for some time. Yeah, but I'm not that worried anymore. It's only natural that what we like and how we study and stuff like that, they'll, they'll all be different. We don't have to match each other. We should recognize each other's strong points and do our best each in our own way. That's what's best. <laughs> Idiot. Yagami. And that's the grindy, grindy sound of, you know, grinding on someone's head, like giving them a noogie. Ow, don't give me a noogie. Jeez. You just figured that out now? If we're both after the same thing in the same place, even if we don't do the same thing. That's what working together is. You idiot. Anyway, what the heck is this grown men hand in hand happily working together? That's, that's gross. So more grinding. Ow, ow, ow. Don't give me a noogie. Huh? What did you say? But I thought maybe you didn't want to do it, so I was worried. That's why I'm saying you're an idiot, dumbass. Stop calling me an idiot. A man doesn't go back on his word. You better take me seriously. That hurts. If you keep doing that, everything I remember about the quiz will fall out. That's because you didn't study enough. If you didn't get it stuck in your head, just this will make it fall out. I said that hurts. So, watch out for violence. Don't worry, Yuki will annoy the hell out of Yagami to the point of death, probably, so uh, he'll get his. Good, that finishes this book. These books that Takato-san recommended, it was hard because there's a bunch of them. So remember, Takato recommended the, the quiz books. But Yagami must also be working hard. Alright, I'll keep going for one more. 
So again, remember, this is right before the first round of the Bell one. So they're studying for the quiz. And um, this obviously wraps up the day here. So we got to see them go on their, their little date. And uh, we met this, this kid in a wheelchair, Shun. He's uh, in his last year of elementary school. So I guess that would make him the equivalent of a sixth grader um, in the U.S., which is actually the first year of middle school here. But it's the last year of elementary school there. So that means he's like, what? 11 or 12? Probably 11, because it's the beginning of the school year now. If I'm thinking my math correctly. Because Yuki's 15. That would be... Go back four years yeah i don't know i'm not good at math professor sakaki would not be proud of me um but yeah so he's not that old and um you know studying to get into a good middle school um and yeah we have this this cute scene where yuki's trying to you know talk about all working together let's all have a common goal let's not doubt each other let's get to know each other better so our teamwork can be improved and Yagami's like you're an idiot and just noogies him until his poor little brain falls out of his head and uh that's that's really the kind of relationship they have like Yuki is just like cute and sincere but he can also be pushy and annoying and Yagami will fight back in his own way. So they have an interesting dynamic, these two. It's very different from everybody else in this game. So it was nice to see the inclusion of a kind of character like this where they can kind of mess around because they are in the same year. So they're kind of like peers, even though Yagami's older. because he got held back a year and blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm just going to keep talking. Except I'm not because I'm going to stop here. Um, next time, I don't know if I'll cover the actual bell one day. I don't remember if there's additional stuff that happens that day. So... Um, I'll take a look at the script and just pick the next part that has um, all new stuff for us to watch. Obviously, we don't need to see the bell one again. Getting kind of sick of that one. Plus, I have it on skip anyway. Um, there's an option in the updated version of the game where you don't have to play the mini games, which is nice. Um, yeah, so we'll see where we end up. And Yagami's route is very much like Arata's route where... Most of the content comes after the Bell 1 is done anyway, because Yagami's route is not connected to the main plot of the game. So yeah, you save the school, but it's almost kind of incidental to getting Yagami's story. Which is fine, because, you know, not everybody can be super involved in the plot. We've already got a few characters who are. So, um... Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to end here for today and I'll see you next time, uh, probably on Monday, since I'll start doing my three videos a week again. Uh, Monday will be the next scheduled day for that. So I hope to see you then. I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching as always. Bye.